Okay, so I'm on my way to Kingsway uh, to go pick up a package that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, and then I have to be back here by 1.30 at the latest because uh, someone's coming and I have to be here to let them in. So it's a race against time that I'll probably win. This weather is crazy. Just yesterday it was like minus 24. Now today it's like minus 2. Sun's out. Beautiful day. Don't even need gloves or a toque. This package that I'm going to put, go and pick up, I was expecting it uh, in like four days on Tuesday. But then all of a sudden, I get this thing saying that it's been delivered four days early. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So I printed off the thing. Now we're going to go pick it up. Even though I have to go to Kingsway, the entrance that it's by is around the corner from Walmart. So it still makes sense to go to the Nate LRT station as opposed to Kingsway because if I go to Kingsway then I'll be on the wrong side of the mall and then I'll have to go all the way through it like through Hudson's Bay and all that shit just to end up at the post office so this thing that I'm ordering is actually a little gun it's not a real gun obviously um, but it looks like it looks pretty realistic it's actually a nerf gun but it, it looks it doesn't look like a nerf gun it looks like an actual airsoft gun or a paintball gun that's like modeled after a gun. And the thing that I liked about it is that it's got gold metal so I could do like men with the golden gun parodies or stuff. So I thought it'd be a cool prop for the show. So I figured I might as well give it a try. Cause it's it's just got little it's just got little uh like it's just got little styrofoam bullets, so it's not like I can kill anybody with it. But I do like that song. Man, I'm with a golden gun. Okay, just got onto the elevator. I didn't show you the part of me going up there because you've seen that before and also there were a bunch of people there, so don't want to get them on YouTube without their permission. I try to avoid that, but sometimes it's an impossibility with the way I film. Okay. Yeah, I was just here. I was just at Kingsway yesterday for groceries. So if only the package had, you know, arrived yesterday. Uh, but then again, I would have had to have known to print the, uh, the pickup paper so that they'd actually give it to me before I left. So maybe not. It's just kind of silly how it came, like, literally right as I, like, the next day after I was already there. But, I'll well, it's 12-12, it's so I still have, like, an hour and 20 minutes before I have to be home at the at the latest. So things are so far going pretty good. I was gonna bring the actual camera before I left, but it's uh, dead, so I had to just leave it to charge. And my phone was coming with me anyway, so you get this instead this time. So about four minutes till the train. Next train, clearly. Yeah. Please stand back from the platform edge. I will not stand back from the platform edge because I'm not at the platform edge. You can't stand back from the platform edge if you're not standing at the platform edge. Don't you know anything, overhead announcer? Stupid, unembodied voice. God, learn physics. Or whatever that pertains to. Almost there. Then I just gotta cross the street and then go around the corner. I'm gonna avoid Walmart because the way that they have it set up is uh, unless you're already in the store, you have to go, I have to go like all the way through the self-checkout thing and then around to get out that door. Um, so I'm just gonna skip that part and then go, just go straight out and then across the street again. But it's, it's only, it's only 12.30 right now, so I think we're still doing okay. Yeah, so there's the Walmart. So I could go in that way, but I'd have to go like all the way around the thing. So instead we're gonna go around the corner here and go directly into the shopper's door. This is my new thing that I've been doing. Uh, 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 the things that I order on Amazon, uh, normally it's kind of a pain in the ass to get them delivered to me because I don't have Prime. So, it's mostly just Canada Post or 
UPS or people like that. And every time that I've tried, and every time that there's been an option for me to tell them you have to call me because the intercom system doesn't work and you're not going to be able to get in. They never listen to those notes. So I always come home and find those try to deliver things and then it becomes my problem to go down there and get my thing myself when this wouldn't have happened if they had just listened to me. The Amazon Prime couriers definitely do that, but I don't have Prime. My mom does. But it doesn't... It's just not very convenient to use, to have her order something for me using her thing and then ship it to me because then I can't track it myself and I can't cancel the order myself. Like if I've decided that I don't want it before it ships. So, not the best idea. Um, but then, with this, I can, I can have them deliver it directly to a neutral location and I chose this one because I'm usually at this particular place at least once a week. So it works out perfectly. There is my name. Next time make sure they, they need to write your name, okay? Huh? Make sure they, they need to write your name. There is my name. Okay. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Got the package. Surprisingly bigger than I was expecting it to be, considering what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So now we just go. Now we just go back out. So now we just. So now we just walk back to the LRT station, and then uh, hope that we can get home in time. And 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 for future reference, I'm supposed to have my name on this, but they 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 aren't giving me. They aren't giving me the option to include my name because it's being shipped to this place. So it's using it's using the like the location name instead of my name. And she's saying that it's supposed to have my name on it. So now I have to figure out how to do that for the next time. But luckily, she decided to uh, throw me a bone and give this to me. I've uh, done this one other time, and it was exactly the same. And that person didn't say anything about that. So maybe this particular time they just forgot to put the name on it. But whatever. I got this. So now I've got to go home. And that's all the time I had for this episode of the Slash Raptor Show. Bye! Oh, look at this. Look how cool this is. These are the, I guess, the bullets. And then they also come with casings. Uh, because the casings, I guess, where were they? Oh, yes. Casing. The casing is right here, so they're like actual bullets. I thought it was just a little Nerf gun. This is like pretty fancy smanchy, which is actually good because it'll make it more realistic looking when I do use it as a prop. And it even comes, it even comes with a silencer, which is pretty cool. Not, not so far. Uh, very, very impressed.